My friend Mike and I recently got back from a four day trip out in Calgary, Alberta. Now, I had never been to Calgary before this trip, and to be honest, it was never really on my list of places to see. I always equated Calgary with barren land and oil sands. I mean, call me ignorant, but that's the picture that I had painted in my head. However, when Tourism Calgary and Travel Alberta invited us out to explore the city and I began doing some actual research into what Calgary had to offer, I called up Mike and we hopped on planes. Here's how we went about traveling Calgary in four days. Day one. We made it to Calgary early in the AM and the first thing we were greeted with was an insane sunrise. From the airport, we caught an Uber into Calgary's downtown core. We spent our four days in Calgary staying at the Marriott Residence Inn. The hotel was beautiful, the view from our room was insane, and its location was just the cherry on top. After checking into our room, we spent the rest of our first day exploring the city. We made our way straight to 8th Ave, which is essentially Calgary's walking street located in the center of downtown. Art installations, restaurants, coffee shops, and bars line 8th Ave, so this quickly became one of our go-to spots in the city. From there, we saw the Calgary Tower, but the elevator was actually under repair, so we weren't able to go to the top, but it's still a cool building. Mike and I eventually ended up along the Bow River, wandered through Prince's Island Park, and then got ourselves some Lime electric scooters, which we used to make our way to the Studio Bell. Studio Bell is a non-profit music museum, which is super cool. You guys know me, and I'm not usually one for museums, but I found the Studio Bell to be super entertaining. The museum is super interactive, constantly giving you instruments to play or music to listen to. Now, Mike is super musically talented, so he loved it, and I'm not so much, but I still thought it was super interesting. After our musical adventures, we decided to check out Calgary's food scene. Now, over the couple days that we were in the city, we had some amazing food, but I have to say that my favorite restaurant of them all, and Mike agrees with me, was Native Tongue's Taqueria. This trendy Mexican restaurant was located just down the street from where we were staying, and they served us some amazing food. We ordered a platter of tacos and some beers because, I mean, what else would you order at a Mexican restaurant? And then we just chilled at the bar. If you're in town, I highly recommend grabbing a bite to eat here. The food is delicious and the atmosphere is really chill. Day two. We started off day number two by catching an early morning Uber out to Nose Hill Park for sunrise. Now, Nose Hill Park might be a bit out of the way for some people, but being dudes who love cameras, we couldn't pass up this insane view of the city. As I said, the sunrises in Calgary are amazing, and the one we caught from Nose Hill was no different. We happened to be up on Nose Hill when it was negative 13 degrees Celsius with heavy winds. So in hopes of not losing any fingers, we ended up Ubering back into town and making our way to a super trendy coffee shop called Phil and Sebastian for a delicious warm cup of joe. After we warmed up a bit and were no longer concerned about losing any appendages, we caught an Uber to Calgary's Springbank Airport in preparation for our Cityscape heli tour. Upon taking off in the helicopter, we flew straight for downtown, swooping around the Calgary Tower, past the Bow Building, and landing right beside Calgary's Peace Bridge. Yeah, we landed like right downtown. How epic is that? From there, we headed down the road to Gai Kaku. I'm probably butchering the name, it will be on screen, but it's a Japanese barbecue joint. We ordered a couple beers, some plates of meat, and barbecued it ourselves right on our table. Pretty cool. After lunch, we finished off the rest of our day by visiting some breweries, our favorite of the bunch being the last best brewing. If brewery hopping is your thing, I highly recommend checking out this spot. Day three. We started off our third day exploring Calgary by renting a car and leaving the city. Now that might be a bit confusing to some as this is how to travel Calgary, but part of what makes Calgary so amazing is the fact that there's so much to do and see around the city when you have access to a car. You could make your way over to Banff or down to Drumheller, but we decided to go somewhere that neither of us had been before, Kananaskis country. Our first stop of the day, aside from taking in the beautiful roadside views, was Troll Falls. A quick 45 minute round trip hike through the forest will take you to this beautiful waterfall. We ended up visiting right after a fresh snowfall, making for such a magical scene. 
Moving on, we drove further up the highway to Upper Kananaskis Lake, and wow, let me tell you, what a beautiful spot. If you're into hiking, this is definitely the move. During our day in Kananaskis country, we actually came across a family of bears and a ton of bighorn sheep. Now, I've been to many of the nearby parks, and maybe we just got lucky this day, but this had to have been the most wildlife I had seen in such a short period of time. Seeing all of these animals in their natural habitat was a major highlight of our trip. Day 4 You've been with me all along, all along. Mike and I decided to dedicate our last day to check out some of the activities available in Calgary. First up being the Calgary Zoo. If you're staying downtown, the zoo is super easy to get to. We walked to the nearest C train station from our hotel and hopped off at the Calgary Zoo stop. The Calgary Zoo is one of Canada's largest zoos, home to over 100 species of animals. The zoo is clearly well taken care of and really supported by the city. I mean, let me tell you, it definitely tops the Vancouver Zoo by like a long shot. After seeing all of the animals, we continued on the metro for a couple more stops to the Marlboro Sea Train Station to check out the Beeline Bike Park. Beeline is an indoor bike park suited for anyone of any skill level. Perfect for Mike and I. Riding the bikes on the pump tracks or jumping with them into the foam pit was a hilariously good time. Mike and I spent a good couple hours riding around Beeline, and some of the people there are insane. It was really cool to see. Back in town, Mike and I were getting ready to finish off our day by making our way over to the Saddle Dome to watch a Calgary Hitman game. The Hitman are Calgary's WHL team, and they put on a really entertaining game. Being a WHL team, I was quite surprised by the support they got from the Calgarians. I didn't expect such a turnout, but there were tons of people there. I don't think there's many better ways to finish off a trip to a new Canadian city than some good old-fashioned hockey. And the tickets? They were super cheap too. And there it is! Thank you so much for watching, my dudes. I hope that this video was able to give you some insight into what Calgary has to offer, hopefully making your next trip there a bit easier and maybe just a bit more fun. I appreciate every single one of you so much, and I'll see you all in another one.